Easy back again with another Bill video. Um, I got some heat today. I told y'all I got some heat. I got some heat. I'm going to keep on pushing out these bangers. Today, I'm going to give y'all the two for one. You know what I'm saying? This bill right here is a GOAT bill. All right? So, we're going to get straight into it. It's a point guard. Um, you want to do your stats, how you see them to the left, to the T. All right? To the T. Um, I want to say two things about this bill. We'll come back and edit it because I'm going to give you my mindset towards certain things. And then we'll go from there. So, once you have all of these categories maxed out how I have them, you should get the 9 finishing, 16 shooting, 12 playmaking, and 9 defensive badges. All right? So, moving forward, we're going to go compact with this build. Um, but we're going to go 6 foot. This build is 6 foot. All right? Uh, we're going to go 180. And then we're going to go up on the wingspan. One tick. One tick up on the wingspan. You could maybe do two. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what the two names is. And then we'll come back with the one. All right? So that gives you an 80 mid-range, a 78 three-point shot, an 82 ball control uh, with that long wingspan like that, man. That's insane. All right, if you grind it to 99, you'll be speed boosting with this long wingspan, man. All right, so let's go choose our takeover. Um, I'm going to go shot creating with this, okay? Let's see what they name us. Two-way slashing playmaker, okay? And we get compared to the GOAT Allen Iverson, all right? So before we go any further... I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Um, the way that I'm going to actually play this build, okay? I'm going to play this build. Um, I think it's a goaded build, um, especially if you grind it to 99. But I'm going to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, it's still going to be an AI comparison build. Um, and let's see how we can get that AI comparison without affecting any of our stats all right so what happened there was your 83 ball dropped down to 79 all right so we're going to leave this like this right we're going to go compact again six foot again and this time we're going to go one tick one tick. Let me see something real quick. Actually, we'll go... We're going to go one tick down on mid-range shooting. Okay? So, mid-range shoot, mid-range shot, one tick down. We'll add it down here to um, block. And we can manipulate this. Um, we just want the nine defensive badges. I'll come back and I'll manipulate that. I'll see what I can get off that. But, moving forward, compact. What we're looking for, six foot, 180, default wingspan. You see, on this, you get an 83-point ball, okay? Um, if you don't mind the two ticks, you can go with the slashing version of this build. If you look at the created rosters and you pull up Allen Iverson, the two-way slashing playmaker is what you're going to get for this particular build if you pull them up in the uh, roster creator. But... You know me. I like to be unique with it. So I'm going to go with the shot creating um, badge again, uh, which you can change your takeover. And these are the four takeovers that I would run with this build. Let's see what they call us this time. Two-way inside-out play maker. Okay? That's what I'm going with. I'm going to show you all the badges. I'm going to start grinding this build. This is my build. This is me specific to me i'm a, i'm gonna be a point guard um with this build and um i have a big man build too so uh, for my big man build i got a glass cleaning lockdown they show bigs love this year because you get that you get that three point uh rating but boom this is what it's looking like at 99 nine finishing 16 shooting 12 playmaking 
nine defensive rebounding badges. So for this, we want contact finisher, giant slayer, and relentless. You can get anything else you want, but these are the badges that I think I'm going to definitely need with this build. Contact finisher to help convert on a contact layup. Giant Slayer is a must. You're six foot. Giant Slayer is a must. All right. Relentless finisher on gold. All right. So let's move forward real quick. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you guys something. If you want to take this risk to do what I'm about to show you, then you can. Um, I'm going to show you the plus side of taking this risk and I'm going to show you the negative side of taking this risk. Okay. So, uh, shooting badges, we're going to go difficult shots, dead eye, gold, range extender, gold, quick draw, at least silver, tireless shooter on gold, which leaves you with two badge upgrades remaining. I personally will probably go quick draw on gold, difficult shots on gold, or you can do range extender on Hall of Fame. I think the range extender Hall of Fame will be super cheesy. Um, if you don't feel like you need quick draw, then you can go difficult shots, Hall of Fame, range extender, Hall of Fame, dead eye gold, tireless shooter, gold, and quick draw on gold. I mean, on silver. Um, tireless shooter, um, you, your stamina is a commodity on this game, like I mentioned in all my videos, man. So you want to make sure that you're making the most out of your stamina usage. All right. So this is AI, man. We go in there, pluggable, quick first step, handle for days, ankle breaker. All right. So you could go um, like this right here, Ankle Breaker Silver, Handle for Days Silver, Space Creator Silver, uh, Quick First Step Gold, and Unpluckable on Gold. So I think this brings balance, but um, if you have difficult shots, you may not necessarily need Space Creator like that. Handle for Days on Gold helps you with your stamina, Ankle Breaker on Gold. This is AI, man. This is AI right here. Um, Lob City Passer is a notable mention. Needle Threader is a notable mention. Um, Downhill is a notable mention. Because these, these three badges here um, basically help you kind of um, get faster speed on Downhill. On Lob City Passer, it helps you get um, more successful lobs. So if you're throwing the lob then definitely Lob City Passer is a good one for you. Um, and then Needle Threader, a lot of people like to play the passing lane. So for Needle Threader, I, I've tested this badge on three builds. I always see it activate, always. When I'm uh, throwing the ball, maybe like in traffic to maybe get to my center, because I want him to get the ball, you can do that. Um, I want to look to make like a Jason Kidd type build or like a... Um, like uh, Jason Williams. I was looking at some Jason Williams highlights. So maybe I can try to make a build like Jason Williams next. Something specific to him. Um, the, the white chocolate himself. And uh, pause. So um, we could try to do that. But these are the badges I'm going for with this particular category. And then for defensive badges, you can go Interceptor. I'm sorry, not Interceptor. Intimidator. You need Intimidator. You're six foot. Intimidator on... Gold and clamps on gold, which leaves you with three badges left. So you can go pickpocket on gold. You can go pick dodger on gold because you're going to get screened. It's going to happen. Okay. Um, you can actually go this. Pick dodger silver, pickpocket silver, intimidator silver, clamp silver. But if you want to be cheese, you can do clamps gold. Intimidator Gold and Pickpocket on Gold. And if you want to be even more deadly, you can go Intimidator and Clamps on Hall of Fame and then Pickpocket on Bronze if you want to do it that way. All right? Because to be honest, you're six foot. The, 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 um, the most you can do to help you out defensively, the better. The more you can do, the better. This is even a good look right here. Hall of Fame, Intimidator, Gold Clamps, Silver Pickpocket. For the sake of this video, this is what I'm going to go with because this is changeable, okay? So I'm going to test this build out one more way 
Because to be honest, I feel like I only need eight defensive badges. Or I could even go as far as to say I could play with six defensive badges just to have clamps and intimidate. All right? So if you, if you time right, I feel like you don't necessarily need pickpocket or interceptor or, or any of those things. Um, the animations may not play to your favor because you don't actually have the badge unlocked. So if you want to go with some versatility, you could go um, with this particular thing the way that I have it set up right now. Because you could go bronze and then get all of these badges. So, um, Interceptor, Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Intimidator, Clamps. And then put some of these on silver. And then put this on gold. So, silver clamps, gold intimidator, um, silver pick pocket, uh, bronze pick dodger, bronze interceptor. So, you can go with that. Like I said, it, the choice is up to you. You can tweak this build. But this is the AI build. I showed y'all two versions of the AI build. The two-way slash and playmaker and the two-way inside-out playmaker. Both got Allen Iverson comparisons. Uh, but... If you've been liking these unique build content, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy already, Jeezy. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to grind and grow out here, y'all. So I appreciate all y'all love and support. And I'm out.